Hi, and welcome to the Assemblines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today I'm excited to do a review of the W Drive floppy disk emulator. So let's get started. The W Drive is a floppy drive emulator for the Apple II computer from a company called Kaboo HK. It uses a 20 pin connector which plugs into your disk 2 card, although you could also probably use an adapter to plug it into a 19 pin controller card. The interesting thing about the W Drive is it's the first floppy drive emulator that supports protected disk images, such as the new WAS format, as well as EDD and NIB. And they just added support for regular DSK, DO, and PO disk images. As you may know, the WAS is a new file format developed by John Kenny Morris for use with his Applesauce disk copier hardware and it allows you to copy protected Apple II disks and preserve all of the flux information on the disk itself. To use the W drive, you simply load a bunch of disk images onto an SD card that's been formatted as either FAT16 or FAT32. And then you can just go ahead and plug it into your disk two card and use it just like a floppy drive. The Cracker 4AM has been uploading new WAS images in his WAS a day collection on the Internet Archive. And it's a great way to download and be able to run protected disk images. In addition to the W drive, Kaboo HK has also been doing some really interesting hardware projects, including developing a Apple II Plus mini computer with a tiny LCD screen and a small keyboard that interfaces with a standard floppy disk card, or you could actually interface it with the W drive card. I've gone ahead and plugged in the W drive to my Apple II Plus and turned it on. And the first thing we'll notice is it comes up with a list of all of the disk images that are available on the card. The W drive has three buttons, up, select, and down. And you can see as I go up and down, it goes through the disk images. And then on the right hand side is a reset button to restart the W drive. Now the first thing I wanna do is actually upgrade the firmware to version 0.47 because this will give me support for DSK images. So to upload the firmware, it says to hold the left and select key and then press the reset on the side. And then it says release key and I'll let go of both of these keys. And now it says loading image and it says version 0.47 so that was painless. And now you can see that I actually have a lot more images. So here's my disk image for ProDOS. I have a .do and then there's a .po. So we can scroll through the list. I have a WAS, I have an EDD, and there's a NIB. So let's go ahead and we'll just try one of these. So for example, let's try the BIOS toad. And if I click select on that, and you can see the screen is booting up, and there it is. All right, let's go ahead and we'll try a different disk image. All right, now let's try a DSK image and see if that works. So I'll just fire up copy to plus. Okay, and that looks like it's gonna start up. All right, so DSK images work. So you're supposed to be able to actually copy back onto a disk image on the W drive. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that I have copy two plus running, I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna pick the blank dot was and load that into the disk drive by clicking the select button. And then in copy two plus, I've already put a disk into drive two, which I still left hooked up. So let's copy a disk and we're gonna copy from drive two to drive one and we'll go ahead all right so I've got that blank dot was loaded into my W drive and I'll go ahead and hit reset 
and if everything worked correctly, it should have copied that disk. Yes, it did. If you had the right copy program, you could use this to duplicate copy protected software onto the WAS format. Let's try a .po. So this is a ProDOS order disk image. And that looks like it is gonna boot up okay. Let's try my torpedo game, which, which is a .nib. And that looks like it booted up just fine. Here's Bouncing Kamungus, which interestingly enough got mentioned as the worst game for the Apple II in the retro tech book under the Apple II section. The number of options for floppy drive emulators for the Apple II tends to fluctuate, and right now it seems like there's fewer and fewer options. So the W drive actually fills a much needed niche, especially with its support for copy protected disk images such as WAS and EDD. It's also priced right. It's only $69 and it's available in either a white or a frosted translucent case. I did have a couple problems. The first SD card that I used didn't work properly with the W drive and that might have just been because it was a slower, older card. So I had to switch to a newer card. And then there were a couple disc images that didn't seem to work properly, but this might have just been because I was using them in an Apple II Plus and the game itself didn't work properly. Overall though, it was actually really easy to use the W drive. It worked with almost all of the disc images that I had and I can easily see it being a great replacement for a disk two drive. With the W drive, I think Kaboo HK has really nailed it in terms of functionality and price, and I'm really looking forward to what they produce in the future. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below, or consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll have the link in the show notes. And as always, thanks for watching.